Ready to wait, J-Boy. Why do you do this? It's my thing. It's what I do. Hey, let me read that. Jay, I've been able to survive and thrive my entire life off of three rules. Trust me, let me do all the talking, and don't ever question my judgment. Sounds like one rule to me. And no naysaying. We're running behind schedule here. Yeah, well that's because you and Mills slept till 11.30. Now we're late, so this guy's probably not even home. Listen, Jay, it's because of negative comments like that that's the reason you are not producing this movie. You need to know the needs of our crew if you're going to be scheduling these meetings. Okay, I didn't schedule this meeting. The screenwriter did, and he's the one that wanted to meet on a Saturday morning. There are many tests during pre-production. This is just one of them. We need to see if he plays well with others. I play well with others. All right, forget I said anything. It's just like our high school play all over again. No, it's not, Jay. Nobody's going to cry this time. Let's hurry up. I felt my mom move furniture. Let's try to stay focused here, okay? Your mom's distracting enough as it is. So let's go over the game plan. We're gonna go in this guy's house. We're gonna make some nice, polite conversation. Uh, I'll introduce us. Jay? I'll ask him about past work and experience. Check. Mill? I let you do the talking. Check. Mill, you're the last person to talk to this guy. What time are we supposed to be over here? Forgot. Not good, boys. Morning. Sorry guys, I overslept. <laughs> Come on in. Beer? Well, I'm Ned, this is Jay, and this is Mel. He's our director. <laughs> sure he is. I'm just very excited to meet you all. I knew when I spoke to Mill here, I knew something special was happening. Well, you know, we're just glad you're on the same page as us. I mean, we appreciate your time and meeting with us so we can really sit down well, and get Let's remember the rules of the production, shall we? We're just trying to scout and get a feel of what kind of creative talent there is in Dubuque. Well, absolutely. I didn't want any of my past experience to uh, sway your decision from using any of the great talent in the area. Well, Mill seems pretty impressed with your screenwriting awards. Uh, I'm just happy for the work. Okay, well, I'm the production coordinator, and just to give you a little background, Ned and Mill here have decided that they've reached a point in their life that they're ready to produce a movie. I can't agree with you more. They've convinced me to help, and since we all work, I work, uh, you know, Time is filled, so we want to find people with a good skill set, and I guess we're just kind of wondering a little bit about what you've done so far. Well, it's, it's hard to say. The awards aren't numerous, but they are extraneous and equivocal. What the hell does that mean? How about just telling us about your latest one? Yeah, well, uh, let me see. Well, that would be the Dickieville International Film Festival. The Dickieville International Film Festival. Yep. But the real magic is in the screenplays I write. Uh, maybe there's something that you've done that we've seen, maybe? Yeah, well, I, I just finished Four Flight for Naught, which you may have seen. Well, it's a story of the miraculous messenger pigeons, which uh, delivered the message that there may be a bomber attack in the U.S. The attack never happened, but if it did... Each of us would owe their lives to those pigeons. Well, our grandparents would owe their lives to those pigeons. So what did you do? You interviewed pigeons? Oh no. The pigeons are all gone now. Except for one. Sparky. Yeah, but he's too old to fly now. What else have you done? Well, there's the school production of Junior High Musical 2. And we couldn't use any of the original music from the television show, so we had to write our own. I should have put songwriter on my resume. I can't direct this. Well, I've heard enough. In the words of many a producer, we'll get back to you. Or thanks, but no thanks. Gentlemen? No, wait. There's one thing I didn't tell you. Yes? I have a screenplay I've been writing. I've been waiting for the perfect moment to unleash it. 
I'm listening. I had to write it in secret because my wife would never allow me to realize my vision. Why wouldn't she allow you to realize your vision? Because she thinks it's a waste of time! Well, all right, let's see it. I can't. It's all in my head. It's the only way I can keep it secret. So you haven't written a page yet? No. I have let it coagulate for 10 years. The very name of this movie will change your life, I guarantee it. Let's hear it. That might be the greatest name of a film I've ever heard. Well, what is it? Let me hear it. What did I tell you? Well, come on, guys. What's the title? <laughs> Jay, you're a mere production coordinator. This is a strictly above-the-line producer-director conversation. You're hired. We'll be in touch. Guys, let's go. I feel like I've been touched by genius. I've been touched. I just think we should discuss it more. I mean, you guys didn't even consider asking me what I thought of this guy. Jay, I think I know your opinion on the matter. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea. Why didn't anybody think about asking me? If I told you what that man told me, your mind would be blown away. I kid you not. Well, why didn't you tell me inside? Well, he needed to know who was boss, and I didn't want you fainting or falling over. Well, tell me now, then. What? Are you ready? Okay. I'm not gonna make out with you. <laughs> <laughs>